Mulgee says goodbye to a hometown hero, a soldier that was one of three area men killed in Afghanistan last week. Two News reporter Brandon Richard joining us live from the newsroom tonight with the story. Brandon. Well, hundreds showed up this afternoon for the funeral of Oklahoma Guardsman Tony Potter Jr. Those who knew him remembered a young man with a great heart. Those who didn't know him paid tribute to someone they say represented the best of his generation. Tony Potter Jr., or TJ as he liked to be called, was a young man going places. A 2010 graduate of Okmulgee High School, he joined the Oklahoma National Guard one month before graduation. TJ's military service eventually took him to Afghanistan, where he, along with three other area guardsmen, were killed on September 9th. At his funeral Saturday, loved ones and complete strangers honored his sacrifice. In times like these, the community needs to come together, and they need to show their support for their soldiers, and they have shown that. Though none of these women knew TJ personally, they knew his kind. I had two sons that served in Iraq at the same time. My daughter also, she was military. She was in the Navy. My husband's a veteran. No, we, I, did, I don't know the family, but I want them to know that we're behind them. We're, we're here for them. Gloria Wilson says her son served in the same area of Afghanistan as TJ. This boy's unit actually took their place in the same barracks. So uh, I feel like there's a connection, you know. And I want their family to know that we appreciate what their son has done for us and the sacrifice they've made for us. TJ's funeral included a military style procession complete with a horse drawn carriage. A fitting way to say goodbye to a true American hero. And at 20 years old, TJ was the youngest Oklahoma soldier to die overseas since 9 11. Live in a newsroom, Brandon Richard, 2 News, works for you.